Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to talk about delta neutral hedging. Let us assume a stock with a price of $60 at the moment and on this stock we have a call option with an exercise price of $56. Also the value of this call is $9.547515 and we have a delta on this call option which is equal to this. We are going to talk about delta in a while. Let us uh, get going by answering a small question and that is what would happen to the value of the call if there is a change in the stock price. Naturally, the value of the call will also change in response to the change in the stock price. This change, my friends, can be measured and the rate of change can be captured by calculating the first derivative between the call value and the stock value. And this first derivative between the call and the stock value is known as the delta and that is the value which we see here 0.776534. Um, if you remember your Black and Scholes um, call valuation model, you will recall that there is a quantity that we use in that formula that is n of d1 and that n of d1 my friends is simply the delta of the call option and for a call option the delta or n of d1 is always positive and asymptotic to 1 that is it approaches 1 but never reaches there. For a put option we have the opposite picture the delta is equal to n of d1 minus 1 and is always negative. Now uh, let us uh, assume a scenario where we are writing 10 call options writing means selling call options that is we are taking a short position so what is going to happen is that as the stock price rises we are going to lose because the option holders are going to get really excited and will want to exercise their options by coming to us to buy this stock now since this is going to be a loss making situation for us how uh, can we hedge our position we know hedging means taking an offsetting position so what we can do is since our current position is short, we can hedge our position by going long and in going long what we are going to do is we are going to buy the underlying stock which is going to be equal to 10 times the delta value. We have to buy the underlying stock and therefore we need to know how much stock should we buy and the answer is the 10 times the delta. Why 10 times? Because we have written 10 call options. So delta basically gives us the hedge ratio. So let us uh, find out first of all how many uh, number of shares we need to buy to create a hedge for ourselves. 10 times the delta value which has been given to us is equal to 0.776534. So let us copy that and paste it at this place and that is going to give us how many shares? 7.6. 76534 shares. So now uh, we actually have a portfolio if you realize that. We have a portfolio where we have 10 call options that we have written and we also have in our portfolio these many number of shares. So there is a short position and there is a long position in our portfolio and we can write it like this. On the left hand side we have the letter P that stands for portfolio and on the right hand side is the composition of our portfolio that is 10 calls short and 10 times delta number of shares. We call this portfolio a delta neutral portfolio. Why? Because for very small changes in the underlying stocks price the value of the portfolio is not going to change. Let us verify that. Let us first of all find out the value of the portfolio when the stock price is $60. So what we have done on the right hand side of the uh, equation we have sold 10 calls. So we write here minus 10 and we multiply this minus 10 by the value of the call which is given to us here 9.547515. So we are going to copy it from here and paste it at this place and then close the bracket and then accommodate our long position. Long position is that we have bought these many number of shares. So let's copy them from here. Um, 
and paste here and these many number of shares what is the value of these shares at a going price of $60 per share this is going to be the value of our shares so that the value of our portfolio is going to be 370.44525 so this is the value of our portfolio when the stock price is $60 now let us see what happens to the value of our portfolio when the stock price rises to $61 so when the stock price rises to $61 um, what's going to happen to the value of the call remember in response to a change in the uh, stock price the value of the call is also going to change and the amount of change or the rate of change is given to us by the value of the delta let us see what is the value of delta the value of delta is 0.776534 so for every one dollar change in the stock price the value of the call is going to change by these many dollars now if the stock price goes up what is going to happen to the value of the call option as the price of the stock goes up the value of the call option will also go up so let us find out the value of the call option when the stock price rises to 61 dollars the current value of the call my friends is equal to this so let us copy it from here copy it and paste it here and then since in response to an increase in the stock price the value of the call should go up we are going to put a plus sign and then we are going to write by how much the value of the call will go up and that is going to be equal to our delta which is this amount here so let us copy that and paste it here and when we do that the value the new value of the call is going to be ten dollars and let us see how many cents three two four zero four nine cents so this is the new value of our call and let us find out now the value of the portfolio when the stock price has gone up to sixty one dollars so what do we have in our portfolio we have shorted ten calls so let's write minus ten and now let us write down the value of the call which is 10.324049 so let us copy that and paste it here and close the bracket and then let us also write our long position how many number of shares do we have we have these many number of shares 7.76534 so let's copy that and paste it here and multiply this by the current stock price which now is $61 if we carry out this calculation what we are going to find is that the value of the portfolio will be exactly the same that is this one as before so let's just copy it and paste it here you can verify that on your calculators later now um, this looks pretty beautiful just by using a delta neutral portfolio it seems that we can hedge all our risk but there is a word of caution please remember that delta itself keeps on changing with a change in the underlying stock price if the delta did not change this hedge could have worked for a longer period of time and would have remained stable but since the delta also keeps on changing in response to the change in the underlying stock price uh, this hedge is not going to work for a very very long time uh, 